Look, the, the, I think it's naive to suggest that, that Assad uh, stays when he is uh, in cahoots with the largest sponsor of terrorism in the world, which mm. is Iran. Mm-hmm. Iran and, and Russia want to prop up Assad. They're not, they're not about regime change. And he has killed over 250,000 innocent people. Four million refugees exist now out of a country of 23 million. I don't see how uh, it is secure and safe and pragmatic to keep a guy who is a brutal dictator that creates massive instability. Uh, there needs to be the destruction of ISIS, but also a political solution that kicks Assad out and brings about a more moderate uh, Sunni-led force that would, that would rec- bring reconciliation and stability to Syria. You can't do it by doing nothing, and you can't do it by ignoring the fact that the, he is part of the problem. So I side with those that believe that Assad has to go as well, which makes it more complicated. I recognize that. Right. But the idea, as Donald Trump suggests, that Putin is a is a guy worthy of admiration when he's bombing the very troops that we're supporting and who brutalizes his own citizenry inside of his own country, attacks other countries in, the, in his own neighborhood and takes territory. A former KGB agent who kills journalists, uh, his, his, his uh, regime has done so, is just ridiculous. This, is, uh, this isn't a monopoly game. This is serious business that requires someone that has uh, enough understanding of how the world works to be able to forge a coalition to bring stability. This isn't our national security interest. This is not some far-off place that uh, we can just ignore. 